Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to recognize eight members of the SLU family as part of our senior night celebration. These great representatives of St. Louis University have given their all to the program, and all are Billikens in the truest sense of the word. Additionally, these seniors are the winningest class in school history. Joining them on the court is Director of Athletics Chris May and Head Coach Jim Cruz. First, we would like to recognize three senior student managers and their families. Their work behind the scenes may go unnoticed to you fans, but as coaches and players will tell you, their contributions are critical to the success of the program. First, please welcome Billy Flint, a business administration major from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Billy is joined by his parents, Cindy and Charles, and a brother, Kelly. His sister, Sylvie, was unable to be here tonight. Next year, Billy will be an assistant boys basketball coach at Kelly High School in Tulsa. Next, please welcome Joey Corey, an economics major from Peoria, Illinois. Joey is joined tonight by his parents, Pam and Dan. And following graduation this May, Joey will be going to graduate school to obtain a master's degree in economics. And finally, please welcome Charles Nishida, a business administration major from Hinsdale, Illinois. Charles is joined by his parents, Angie and Takashi. Charles will graduate this May and begin a search for a job in basketball. How about another round of applause for SLU's three student team managers. Jake Barnett is the first senior student athlete we're going to recognize tonight. Jake came to the Billikens from the University of Toledo after his freshman year and has since played in more than 80 games in a Billiken uniform. He has played in every game the last two seasons and this year he is averaging nearly five points a game. He is a 2014 academic all district selection and his work in the community does not go unnoticed, as he was recognized as a member of the NABC Good Works team. He has already graduated with an undergraduate degree in business administration and currently working on his MBA. Evans, he got fouled, no call to Barnett out of the right corner. Bang! Jake Barnett! Doesn't like it, stood on the dribble, gives it up to Mason, hands off down low. Sokol, headed block! Headed block by Jake Barnett! He then double team came quickly. Skip pass right side, Barnett sets his feet, once a three. Bang! Jake Barnett! Here we go! Man, this is not a love song. By his mother, Sandy, his father, Jim, and brother, Josh, a native of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, number 30, Jake Barnett. Dwayne Evans will go down as one of the top players in Billiken history. Dwayne is close to entering the top 10 in school history in scoring is fourth in all-time in rebounding on the SLU career chart. Last season, he led the team in scoring, was named first-team all-conference, and was tabbed the most outstanding player of the A-10 championship in Brooklyn. Dwayne is also a leader off the court. He is one of 10 finalists for the Senior Class Award, bestowed upon the NCAA Division I men's basketball student athlete who excels in areas of community, classroom, character, and competition. He will graduate in May with a degree in business administration with a concentration in sports business. Stops 
two kicks. It's Evans for an 18-foot jumper. Perfect! Backs down. No double team comes. Turns in the lane. Jump up. Yes. He just uses superior footwork. And McCall. To Evans. 16-foot jumper. Yes. Sweet. He now pops top of the kick. Beats Reddick off the dribble to the hole. Jam time! Oh, the two-hand flush! He got it to McCall, and here come the Billikens. They fire to Evans. Drives to the hole. Jam time! Oh, Dwayne Evans with a monster two-handed dunk. Timeout, Shaka! Timeout, Shaka! What a champion! By his grandmother, Patsy Lumpkin, his father, Dwayne Sr., and mother, Janice, and sister, Janice, from Bolingbrook, Illinois, number 21, Dwayne Evans. Next, Jordair Jet. Jordair will leave St. Louis, ranking in the top five in school history in assists and steals. One of the most feared defenders in the nation. He is a two-time A-10 All-Defensive Team honoree. He has had a breakout year offensively this season and entered tonight's game, leading the team in scoring. Jordair was a third-team All-Conference pick a season ago, and this season is a four-time Atlantic 10 Conference Player of the Week selection. Jordair will graduate in May with a degree in communication. Well, you can tell everybody. Yeah, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Shoes the screen, drives, spins to the hole. Layup good. Jordan Jet. Looks in against the man, gets the screen, wants the 18-foot jumper. Perfect. Nice. Jordan Jet. Corner. Head fake. Oh, they got Barnett in the air. Drive. Rejected by Jet. Evans blocked it to Jet. One man to beat. Hard to the hole. Finger roll. Yes, whistle foul. Count the basket. JJ the Jet play. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Joined by his mother, Glenda, sister, Sharice, from St. Paul, Minnesota, number five, Jordan Jet. You will find Mike McCall Jr.'s name throughout the Billiken career record book. He is a 1,000-point scorer, ranked seventh in three-pointers made and attempted, and his fifth all-time in steals. Mike made an immediate impact in his career, becoming the first Billiken freshman to lead the team in scoring since Larry Hughes. After averaging 10.4 points per game in 2010 and 11, Mike will go down as one of the top free throw shooters in school history, making nearly 80% of his chances from the line. This season, Mike is averaging nearly 10 points a game, and he will graduate in May with a degree in communication. Yeah, back to Mike, they set a screen for three. Bang! Mike McCall, Junior! McCall drives, turns, dishes, Rob Lowe, top of the key. Forced it a bit, tipped by McCall, yes! Mike McCall in the land of the Giants with the deuce. And then triple teaming, kicks it out to McCall, sets himself for three. Mike McCall, Junior! Oh, Beats yeah. his man, baseline, layup, yes! Oh, Mike McCall! He worked creek. The creek is from dry. Joined by his mother, Sheila, and sister, Angel, from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, Mike McCall, Jr. Next up, Rob Lowe. Rob burst on the scene as a freshman and has made a staple in the Billiken starting lineup ever since. Dating back to his freshman year and including tonight, Rob has started in 100 straight games. He is eighth all-time at St. Louis University in block shots and is close to entering the SLU career top 10 in three-pointers made. This season, he leads the team and is among the top 10 in the A-10 in block shots. He has already posted careers high in points, steals, and assists, rebounds, and field goals. This May, Rob will graduate with a degree in business administration with a concentration in information technology management.
to McBroom. Bills down three. Rob Lowe. Bang! You beat Kiwi. Ties the game. Back on the wing. Stolen away by Glaze. Ahead to Rob Lowe. Two dribbles. Jam time. McCall fights off a hand check. Rob Lowe three. Bang! The beat Kiwi. Rob Lowe has 21. And the Bills lead by four. Be a nightmare for him, and Rob Lowe stole it away between the legs. He hiked it to Jet to the window. Yes, whistle foul. Count the basket. Rob Lowe on the steal had to bend down and get it, and hiked it between his legs. Held twice around the screen. Spins in traffic for Rob Lowe. Pops the three. Bang! Ball game. Rob Lowe drains the tray. Well, I tell you, Rob Lowe floating for the money ball. Rob Lowe! At this time, to say a few words, please welcome Billiken head coach Jim Cruz. Thank you. Thank you very much. We really appreciate the support you fans have given us all year and throughout these guys' careers. The band, you guys are absolutely off the charts. We thank you. Student body, You've been tremendous. We really, really appreciate that whatsoever. These guys here, I just love these guys. These guys have been ambassadors for the school under, uh, and I know Coach Majerus would be very proud of these guys, how things have finished. Very, very proud. But, Three years ago, they really welcomed me right at the last second, just coming off the street. And I can't tell you how much that meant to me. And then when Coach Majerus got sick last year and responsibilities changed, how they welcomed me, uh, I can't ever thank them enough of how they've conducted themselves. But they have been absolutely tremendous, not only on the basketball floor, uh, winning a championship last year, having an unbelievable season this year, and we got plenty of basketball left. but. Uh, But they've been tremendous in the community. They're all, Jake's already graduated, but the other four are graduating in the spring here. And they've been. And even throughout the country and throughout the world, these guys have given themselves to serve other people. And they've been tremendous teammates, good friends, great relationships, and they've been coachable kids. And they certainly are darn good basketball players too. But I certainly can't salute them enough for what they've done for not only St. Louis University, but this community and representing college basketball in a first-class fashion. Seniors. And at this time, a word from Billiken Senior, Dwayne Evans. Hello. All right. <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of every, all the seniors here tonight. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you just how appreciative we are for everything that this university and this town has given us in the last four years. Um, I, I think anywhere from the administration down to the managers, the trainers, the seniors, the freshmen, uh, I've never been a part of a group that really gives their all, I mean, and that's been really for the last four years, and I, I mean, I'm so thankful for that. Um, it's I just want to uh, thank, thank all the coaches. Uh, you guys have been great. We, we got a lot more to do, so uh, this isn't conclusive or anything, but you guys have been great. And speaking for the senior class, none of us would have this opportunity if it wasn't for Coach Majerus. So uh, I mean, give all the thanks to him as well. I'll just keep it short and sweet. Just want to give everyone who's here and who's been supporting us along this, this really fun ride. Uh, I, we just appreciate it so much, and uh, we got a lot more wins coming, so don't, uh, don't give up yet.